guys, it's me again. I'm with Sarah and Shadow again. So today, me and Sarah and Shadow are going to do tips on how you can decorate for Christmas. Now I know that Christmas is two days away, but this will be a very good help for you. So yeah, let's get started. Tip one, candles. Now. You should see my house on Christmas. It is so decorated with candles. And then when it's lit, it smells good and it's really pretty. So, yeah. Candles is a really good thing that you can do to decorate your house. Okay, tip number two. Of course, everyone needs to do this. Put up a tree. Decorate the tree. You need to do that for Christmas. It's a tradition everywhere. So, yeah. Number three. Wreaths. Now, most, some people that I know, my mom, like to make their wreaths. So, um, if you want to do that, then all you have to do is buy a, a green wreath, like a regular green wreath, and decorate it with like bows and flowers and stuff and make it all pretty. Or you can just buy it yourself, but wreaths are a really pretty decoration that you can use for uh, your house for Christmas. Okay, tip number four. Like, do you know how when you go into someone's house when Christmas is, like, coming? Or after Christmas, you see little, like, decorations with Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus and, like, all these really cool, like, little figures of them. Like, you want them. Like, I have, downstairs I have this big, big Santa Claus, like a life-size Santa Claus. And it sings and dances and we set it up every Christmas. That's one of our decorations. And we also have two little, a little Santa Claus like this big and a little Mrs. Claus the same size by the fireplace. And they're on like either side. And that's how we decorate for Christmas. And we have like candles and wreaths like she said. And we have a tree. And yeah, so. Our house is really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. We have a really big tree because we have like a really big ceiling. So we can get like 20 feet. Yeah. And at my house we have like Mrs. Claus and Santa Claus sitting on our bench outside. So. Yeah. Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. Tip number five, poinsettias. Now, if you don't know what a poinsettia is, it's the Christmas flower. Uh, it's that, like, really pretty red thing. And I do recommend putting that out because our house, well, my house, we have poinsettias everywhere. Right when you, like, walk in to my house, like, on the porch, we have this, like, little, like, flower thing and it has poinsettias in it. And then when you walk in our house, there our stairs are decorated with poinsettias and then we have, like, a vase with poinsettias. We have poinsettias everywhere on Christmas. So, if you like flowers, then get the Christmas flower on Christmas because they are so pretty. Girl, you know it. Okay, this might be a little obvious one, but of course, you know, before Christmas, your parents, like a couple days before Christmas, maybe five days before Christmas, they start putting presents under the tree. It makes the tree look prettier. <laughs> so, decorate with presents. Say, Mom, presents. we need more presents to decorate. More presents for me. <laughs> Seven is make paper snowflakes and hang them around the house. Oh, oh my god, it looks so, 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 so pretty when you do that. Like, if you've ever seen Elf, if you haven't seen Elf, then you need to watch it. But at that one scene where Santa is coming and he, like, decorates the Santa is coming. So he decorates, like, the whole store. And he has, like, little, like, snowflake, paper snowflake hanging. Oh, my God, it looks so pretty. So, snowflakes. Tip number eight. It's called a country-style home Merry Christmas, homemade Christmas. Um, So look for your natural resources, like pine cones, leaves, oh, sticks. You can spray paint them to match your house. And you can just put them in a little bucket. And put it somewhere, like on a table or something. And you can get, like, the pine things with the little red um, cherry thingies on them. And you can put it in there, too, to make it look like it's actually Christmas time. Instead of just, like, pine cones and stuff. But, yeah. So, pine cone, natural resources. Number nine. Um, I know not everyone has this. But it really, like, stands out and it's, like, really, really cool. Uh, we have this little Christmas calendar, and it starts on day one, and you move it in December, and it stops at day 24, and that's when you know that it's almost Christmas, obviously. And I love it. I love moving the star because I get more and more excited to for Christmas. So, yeah, get a Christmas calendar because it's really, really cool. And tip number 10, 
If you guys have like little villages, like Christmas villages, set them up around your table. Like these. Oh, like nativities? Yes, like that. I love nativities. So you just set the little villages up and you set it into it so it looks like a city. Like my grandma has one under her tree with a little train track. We have one on two on our table downstairs. We have the um Jesus being born and then we also have a village of people, so yeah. So Christmas villages are very popular around Christmas time. Or nativities. Yeah, so set it up. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Thank you to Shara. Um, and tomorrow I will probably be put, be putting up what is on my iPhone. And the next day I'll show you what I got for Christmas. Then the next day after that you'll find out. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys like it. Make sure to look at her channel because we posted a video on her channel too. So get right on it. Love you guys. It has... That wasn't very entertaining. Look, 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 look. He's like shaking because it feels so good. <laughs> we got to get you neutered, dude. Oh my god! Why not move off the Indian sky? I'll try. The city never looks so bright. Number eight. Now I know that no, not everyone.